guys, welcome back to my channel and to my home. I'm Eileen and today another red shade. I am enjoying these red colors and reviewing them for you. And so today I couldn't wait to show you Tony and Beverly, Phoebe and Sangria. I have wanted to review Phoebe for a long time now. And I just think I really, really am enjoying it. It is a longer pixie, as you can see, it has a slight angle. Again, a great first wig. I just am finding a lot of wigs lately that I think would work for so many people who are just beginning in wigs. And I think this is another one that's so simple to style and wear that if you're new to wigs, you might consider this one. Let me show you the back. Has a nice nape. It's kind of a little boy cut, like I said. Pixie, boy cut, however you'd like to describe it. I love the long layered bangs. It's really kind of sassy. I like this little wig. Now let's talk about this color. Okay, so this color, Sangria. It is a peachy auburn. It's a blended color. The darker auburn at the bottom, at the nape. As you can see, I like that. Has some golden hues in here and some highlights, which again, in my opinion, gives it so much personality, makes it not flat, brings it to life, especially around the face. I'm glad you have a good look at that. Some deep golden blonde hues in there, mixed in with that peachy auburn color. I like these tones on this wig. I think it's pretty. I think it is would work for a lot of complexions. It's not too red, but yet it's not too brown. So I just like that. And with the uh, highlights, it's really nice, really pretty. Okay, let's talk about the specs. Okay, so the specs for Phoebe. Bang, six to seven inches. Crown, six to six and a half. Sides, three and a half. Again, very layered. Nape, 1.75. And overall, it's around 10 inches. You can be cute to wear this down on both sides, kind of really face frame him. I just like, as you know, to wear one side behind my ears. You could wear them both behind your ear if you'd like. You get a completely different look that way. Temple to temple lace front. Tony Beverly does some beautiful lace fronts. Now, there is some permatease here. Yes. None in the back around the nape, no. But you're gonna feel it here, around in here. So, just to let you know, there is some permatease in here. You can get lift if you want it. Up and off the face if you like, which I do. Okay, so the inside of Phoebe. Look how beautiful this lace front is and how wide it is and deep it is. It's very nice. Coming up into where I said there's a little permatease here. Open wefted. Belt ear tabs. Velcro adjusters. Extended nape. Lots and lots of stretch. And you can see how beautiful and how far down this lace front goes. Very pretty. Okay, so we're back with Tony of Beverly, Phoebe, and Sangria. One thing I want to mention to you, these Tony of Beverly wigs are run a little large on me. I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. I'll put my specs down below. You can compare yours to mine. And all of these wigs that I've tried so far of Tony of Beverly run a little large on me. I have to pull the adjusters in and then they're perfect. 
So if you have an average to a larger size, this might work perfectly for you. I can make it work great. I just have to adjust it a little bit. But like I said, there's a lot of stretch in these wigs. So I think they're perfect for average to large size circumferences as well. Okay, let's see, you know, I always like to get a little texture in my wig, so let's see if we can do that. I wanna use the John Renault Styling Cream, as I always do, contour cream. Using just a little, just a little bit there, warm it up. And then I wanna really run my hands. Like you know, I like to do this on camera for you. I want you to see how I style my wigs. People ask me, do I style them? heavily style them before I come on camera? And the answer is no, <laughs> I do not. I take them out of the box, give them a good shake and pop them on my head and record this video for you. Because I want you to see, you can do exactly what I do to get the same look I do. And it's simple, fast and easy. The styling cream works great in my opinion. I really like a lot of texture, a lot of PC looking and that gives me this just by just a little, you don't need a bunch to get a good PC look. And like I said, there is some permatease, so if you wanna really get some lift in here, you could, or you can smooth it and make it not so much. Certainly not an overwhelming amount of permatease, but I really do think you need some in this wig because I don't, I don't know that I'd want this to be flat on my head, as short as this is. I like to have a little bit of volume there. And this certainly, just with that little bit of permatease, gives you that. Work it a little on these ends. And I really do think this is pretty just pulled off the face as well. If you do it on both sides, it has good coverage. If you wanted to pull this completely back and get a real short, cute look that way, easy to do. Completely different look. I love that about short wigs. You can really do a lot. If you have a lace front like this, pull it off your face. Good for the fall with a little bit of warmer color for me. I'm, I've just started wearing a lot of different shades, a lot of reds. It's going forward in the year. Why not change it up a little bit? Of course, I still love my blondes. Okay, guys, that is my review of Tony and Beverly Phoebe and Sangria. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will subscribe and like this video to keep this content coming. And I'm on Instagram at Crazy Wig Lady. Please join me there. I do a wig to toe Wednesday every week where I put a wig on, I style it, I show you my entire outfit for the day, and I do that every Wednesday, wig to toe Wednesday. Also, I am on Twitter at Crazy Wig Lady One. So follow me over there on social media. And I hope you enjoyed this, like I said, because I love, love making these videos for you and I hope they're helpful. Please leave me some comments below. I love to get in touch with you back and forth. I love our good wig discussion. So please, please leave me some comments. And uh, I will see you soon with another wig review. And until we meet again, remember, we're all in this together.